Kid and North are playing a game. Kid selects one card from a standard 52 card deck. If Kid selects a face card, namely a Jack, Queen, or King, North pays him $6. If Kid selects any other type of card, he pays North $2. What is Kid's expected value for this game? What is North's expected value for this game? And who has it, the advantage in this game? So let's start with problem A. What is Kid's expected value for this game? Notice we're looking for an expected value, and when you look for an expected value, you're looking for a combination of the wins and the losses. And so we're going to write down from Kid's perspective what his expected value would be. So I'm going to write expected value Kid on it to remind myself that I'm looking from his perspective. So from Kid's perspective, he wins $6 from North every time he selects a Jack, Queen, or King. So he gains a positive $6 every time he gets, every time he selects a face card. So what I need to do is take 6 times the probability that he draws a face card. Now, what's the probability of getting a face card? There are three different types, Jack, Queen, and King, and four suits. So that means there's a total of 12 face cards in a deck of 52. So the probability of choosing a face card in a deck of 52 cards is 12 over 52. This would represent the winning part of the expected value in terms of Kid's perspective. Now, how much does Kid lose? Well, Kid, if he selects any other type of card other than a Jack, Queen, or King, he has to pay North $2. That is, Kid will lose $2 if he selects any other card from his deck. So how many other cards are left in the deck? Well, if you select 12 face cards, well, that's going to, if you count 12 face cards, then the number of not face cards is 40. So the probability of selecting not a face card is 40 over 52. This represents the loss part of the expected value in terms of Kid's perspective. All right, so let's put these numbers together. I'm going to do a little bit of cancellations first to make it a little easier in terms of math. I'm going to first of all reduce 12 over 52 notices. Notice, notice 12 over 52 is reducible by 4. So 4 goes into 12 3 times and 4 goes into 52 13 times. Similarly, 40 over 52 is also reducible because 4 goes into 40 four to 10 times and 4 goes into 52 13 times. All right, my numbers are a little smaller there, so now I can multiply straight across. 6 times 3 is 18 over 13. And then I have plus, and then negative 2 times 10 is negative 20 over 13. So I'm adding 8 over 13 and negative 20 over 13, which is going to give me negative 2 over 13. That converts to the following decimal. And that decimal is approximately 0 0.15384 or 385. But I can stop right here because all I need to do is round to the nearest cent, which means two decimal places. So that means that's going to be approximately 0 0.15 cents, uh, dollars, which is 15 cents. So that would be kids' expected value for this game. Let's now take a look at North's expected value for the game. So the expected value from North's perspective, and let's think about this. Well, whenever Kid wins, North actually loses. And whenever Kid loses, North actually wins, right? So whenever Kid selects a face card, North has to pay him. So from North's perspective, he loses every time a face card comes up. The probability of the face cards we already found from the first, ex first part was 3 out of 13. And North, he wins or gains $2 
every time a non-face card is selected. So we would take 2 times 10 out of 13. That means that North's expected value is negative 18 over 13 plus 20 over 13. And that's positive 2 over 13. And notice that is just the positive of the value that we obtained in A. And that makes sense because from North's perspective, he's winning whenever kid is losing. And so that means that North's expected value is positive 0 0.15. And that brings me to something that I see I made a mistake. Up here, remember, from kid's perspective, he's losing. So we need to make sure if he's losing that we designate that loss with a negative. So kid's expected value is a negative 15 cents, whereas North's expected value is a positive 15 cents. Now, who has an advantage in the game? Well, that's clear, right? The person that has the advantage is the one that has a better or a higher expected value. So that means in this game, we would say that North has the higher or better expected value. And so North clearly has the advantage in the game.